Hello, welcome to Simply Elegant Essentials by Sanjay. Now today I'm going to make a faux fireplace to cover up a bottom of a fish tank. This is what the fish tank looked like underneath. The boards underneath the fish tank has been there temporarily for over a year. So I decide to use them. There are two foam boards taped together and taped around the edges. Hey you guys, if you're new to my channel, it is an honor to have you here. Remember to click on the subscribe, like, and the notification bell to see more DIYs by me. I place popsicle sticks where I tape the two foam boards together. black duct tape around the opening I remove the glass and the tabs from the frame. Before adding my contact paper, I want to make sure that my frame fits. Make sure you take your time in gluing your frame in. Now to make my frame around my fireplace, I use foam boards and I cut for the sides eight strips of four inches by 30 inches. Now for the top of the fireplace, I use four inches by 27 and a half inches. And at the bottom, I use two inches by 27 and a half inches. You're going to take your first four strips, which is four by 30, and put them together to prepare to lay down your contact paper on top. After I got my borders cut out, 
what I did was took some poster board and white contact paper and in the center of the contact paper is the poster board. I'm going to place my border, which is four of them stacked together, onto the poster board. Now the poster board is the same width and length as the foam board and the contact paper is much wider and longer than the foam board. Then I'm going to wrap the contact paper onto the foam board. Now remember, you're going to do three borders like this. You're going to have your two side borders, which is 4 inches by 30 inches. And then you have your top border, which is 4 inches by 27 and a half inches. And then you have your bottom border, which you're only going to use one board. And it's going to be 2 inches by 27 and a half inches. Make sure that you get your contact paper on as neat as possible. I did this side a little different than I did the other side. I thought I would try something different and I liked how I did this side. To place my border onto the fireplace, I use double-sided film tape. Double-sided tape and double-sided film tape is a little bit different. So make sure you use double-sided film tape. It is much stronger than double-sided tape. Now when you're adding your border on with the double sided film tape, just place it on there very lightly. If you press it down too hard, it probably is going to tear the paper if you try to remove it and adjust it. So make sure that when you press it down, that that's what you want to do. Now once I got all my borders on, the white did not look good against the fish tank. So I painted it black. Once I had it painted black, I didn't like that neither. So I added marble contact paper on top of the contact paper I painted black. Onto the back side of the fireplace, I added my double-sided film tape around the opening of my fireplace. Now once I had my double sided film tape down, I used the chopping mat from the Dollar Tree to place into the opening of the fireplace. I added black paint onto the marble white contact paper.
Now to cover the sides of the bottom of the fish tank, I used two black foam boards and I used a permanent marker to color the edge of the foam board black. Now to connect my foam boards to the bottom frame of the fish tank, I used fun tap. To create my faux flame, I used these flameless buffs that I got from Walmart. I still was not happy with how my fireplace looked, so I had to glam it up a little bit more by adding bling wrap as well as acrylic mirrors. I think this is simply elegant, don't you?